The video from OS College demonstrates how to change user interfaces in LibreOffice 7.2 and 6.4. By default, LibreOffice, regardless of the operating system it is running on, has a standard toolbar user interface. There are, however, six other user interfaces that have come pre-installed in the past few versions. This video covers 7.2 because, at the time this video was created, in October 2021, 7.2 is the latest version. 6.4 still comes pre-installed on Ubuntu 20, as well as several other popular Linux distros released about the same time, so it is also covered. There are slightly different ways you change user interfaces in the two versions. This video was posted on the OS College website, several social media sites, and YouTube. If you are watching on YouTube, please click like and subscribe. You will receive notifications of future videos from OS College about LibreOffice and other applications. In version 7.2, that is shown in Windows 10, the standard toolbar interface has two main toolbars across the top, standard and formatting. Above those is 10 menu items. Click the view menu. In the menu that appears, click user interface and a select your user interface dialog appears. The view menu is in all six applications, and the user interface item in it is in Writer, Calc, Impress, and Draw. The dialog lists seven user interfaces under UI variants. Standard toolbar is selected. Click the radio button next to the desired choice. Then click either Apply to All, or Apply to the application's name. The applications will be Writer, Calc, Impress, or draw. This dialog is not available in base or math. After clicking apply to all, or apply to application name, click close. You will now see that the open document has the user interface you just selected. In the standard toolbar user interface in version 6.4, as shown here in Ubuntu 20, user interfaces also can be accessed through the view menu. However, instead of an item that launches a dialog, User Interfaces is a sub-menu with the seven different user interfaces, as items in the menu. However, only Writer has all seven user interfaces available. Calc doesn't have contextual single. Impress doesn't have sidebar. Draw doesn't have sidebar or single toolbar. Highlight the submenu. Click the desired user interface. The menus will close. Your document will now be in the user interface you just selected. The video just demonstrated how to change the user interface from standard toolbar to one of the others through the dialog that is in version 7.2 and the submenu in 6.4. The rest of the video will show where the user interface item or submenu is, in the other six user interfaces. It will also give a brief overview of those user interfaces. The tab view has several tabs across the top of the document window for each application. There are toolbars associated with each tab. It is the user interface that is the most similar to the one in Microsoft Office for Windows, to change the set of tools you see, click a different tab. The link to the dialog or submenu is available in the view menu in the traditional menus, if they have been set to appear. It also can be accessed by clicking the three bars at the right side of the dialog. The traditional menus can be revealed or hidden by clicking the view tab. Then clicking the view drop down menu at the right side of the window. Click menu bar. The single toolbar interface is similar to the standard toolbar one. Except items from the standard and formatting toolbars are combined into one toolbar. It has been designed to benefit those using laptops with smaller screens. The only way to access the dialog or submenu is through the view menu. The sidebar view is like the single toolbar view, but it has a few different items in the toolbar. 
After it is selected in the dialog or submenu, it will appear with the sidebar expanded. It is designed for users who want to interact with LibreOffice primarily through the sidebar. Like the standard toolbar and single toolbar interfaces, the only way to access the dialog or submenu is by clicking the view menu. The tab compact is like the tab view, but the toolbar under the tabs is reduced to one row. It is for those who like an interface like Microsoft Office for Windows, but are using laptops with smaller screens. Like the tabbed user interface can be accessed by clicking the three bars, or gear, at the right side of the dialog. The traditional menus can be revealed or hidden by clicking the view tab. Then clicking the view drop down menu at the right side of the window. Click menu bar. The view menu is another place to access the dialog or submenu. Contextual Single has a single toolbar. It changes based on the context. For example, if you select an image, the toolbar will change, and there will be icons for editing and positioning a photo. The dialog or submenu can only be accessed through the traditional view menu. The grouped bar compact user interface organizes icons into several groups and there is a drop-down menu associated with each group. Like the other user interfaces the dialog or submenu can be accessed through the traditional view menu. If you don't see it, click the menu drop-down menu at the right of the window. Then click menu bar. Menu bar is also located in the drop-down menu for the view group. The different user interfaces also can be located in the menu drop-down at the right of the window. For both versions 7.2 and 6.4, it is a submenu. Writer is the only application with all seven user interfaces in the list. Calc doesn't have contextual single. Impress is missing sidebar. Draw has five, standard toolbar, tabbed, tabbed compact, grouped compact, and contextual single. Click the menu drop down at the right side of the window. Then highlight the user interface submenu. You will see the list of seven user interfaces. Click the desired one, and the user interface in the open document will change. This OS College video is about switching user interfaces in LibreOffice in version 6.4 and 7.2. It is available at oscollege.com along with other videos, articles and other information about various Linux distros and Office applications. It is available at several social media sites, including the OS College Facebook and MeWe pages. It is also available at the OS College YouTube channel. If you are watching on YouTube, be sure to click subscribe and like to receive notifications of future videos. Thank you for watching.